Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Microsoft Forms has some new features. Uh, it's May 2021. These came out a few months ago. I'm going to cover three of them. One of them I've actually done before, but that's okay. So I've already got a form created called Customer Survey. Add new. This is going to be fast. There's my question. Sure, I don't care about that. What I do care about is when you come in here and select a word or words, bold, italics, and underline is now available for you. In case you're wondering about that right there. The keyboard shortcuts, Control B, Control I, and Control U also work. And they also work on the answers, as you can see right here that I'm using them here. There you go. Item number two, this is a really cool one. So you can always share with people inside your organization. If you come up here to the right, it says share. Only people in my organization can respond. But a couple months ago, they decided, hey, only certain people in my organization can respond because maybe this only needs to go to the marketing group or the accounting group. So if I go to only people, I can either type a name, an email, or a group. Just to do this real quick, I'm going to do Christian. There's Christian, and I also want Carol. And I could have done a contact group or distribution list also, but there they are. That is that feature. And number three, and this is the one I've done before, and this recently happened to me. When you go to up here, more, form settings, the three dots, and go to settings, settings, allow receipt of responses after submission. This is a cool feature. So after I fill in a form as a user, I get a receipt showing what I put in. That way I don't go, did I fill in that survey or not? Because that's happened before. That's happened to me before. That's it. I'm trying to keep this at two minutes. Have a great day. Feel free to subscribe. Let me know if you have any comments or questions about these new features in Microsoft Forms. Thank you.